holding government officials accountable for their actions is paramount. Um, last September, the Speaker of the House announced that the uh, House of Representatives would be entering an impeachment inquiry phase of our oversight work. On December 13th, the full House of Representatives voted to, to do just that, to formalize that. Um, this is a power that is exclusively, uh, exclusively resides in the House of Representatives and one of the most important powers that we have as, a, as an institution and as a body. Um, Robert Hur on page one of his special counsel report said Joe Biden knowingly kept classified information. Joe Biden knowingly disclosed classified information and he disclosed that information to someone who wasn't allowed to get it. Page 231, he told us he told us why Joe Biden did those things. He said Joe Biden had strong motivations for ignoring classified procedures because he was writing a book, a book for which he got paid eight million dollars. So we have motive an $8 million motive. We have the elements of the crime, knowingly keeping, knowingly disclosing, giving that information to someone who wasn't allowed to get it. We have all that. And yet the special counsel said he would not recommend charges for uh, President Biden. We think we're entitled to, we, know, we don't think, we know we're entitled to all the evidence. And that includes the best evidence, which is this audio tape. That's why we sent the subpoena. The attorney general is being clear. He's not going to give that information to us. So, um, that's why we have the contempt resolution. We assume this is going to wind up in court, but we think our case is strong and we think that we will prevail. But step one is to pass the resolution holding the attorney general in contempt for not giving the House of Representatives, the body who's in an impeachment inquiry phase of our oversight responsibilities, not giving us the best evidence. Finally, I would just say this. We think the privilege has already been waived. We think when they uh, gave us the transcript, they've waived the privilege. And understand that there have already been times where the transcript that we've received from the White House doesn't match up with what was actually said by the President of the United States. And so again, for all those reasons, uh, we think we need this information and that's why the resolution will be on the floor today. Jim Jordan's fervent call for transparency and rigorous oversight resonates deeply. Supporting his plea for the Minister of Justice to provide the requested evidence is crucial in upholding the integrity of the impeachment inquiry and ensuring justice prevails. This underscores the significance of personal responsibility and the authenticity of actions by public officials. Jordan's unwavering demand for securing the audio tapes and other crucial evidence exemplifies the House's commitment to uncovering the truth and holding individuals accountable. The focus on clear evidence-based motivations is a testament to genuine and responsible governance. Analyzing the psychological impact of contempt resolutions on the public's collective spirit and political landscape reveals how demands for transparency and accountability bolster trust and confidence in the political process. Jordan's detailed scrutiny of Joe Biden's motivations and actions, along with the pursuit of irrefutable evidence, highlights how these efforts to challenge the Minister of Justice emphasize the clarity and justice in political matters. This, in turn, fortifies the public's faith in the essential roles of oversight and the rule of law.